morning and welcome back to the vlog. It is 11.28 and I have just like gotten up off the couch. Last night, again, rehearsal till 10. So I got home 10.38 at 11 o'clock. Just, just real dumb stuff this week. Um, and today I slept later than any time I've ever slept in years. I got up at nine o'clock, which is super late, but I was really tired, needed sleep. And today is the dress rehearsal for the concert. And unfortunately, I can't just go dressed like a regular person today. I have to wear all black. And I, I last night when I was on stage, it was freezing, freezing. And I was like, if I'm gonna be on stage today and wearing casual, casual black, I might, I need to be warm. So on the way there, I plan to stop, uh, to, where am I going, TJ Maxx? To maybe see if I can find a nice black sweater to wear while I'm on stage so that I don't freeze to death. Um, so anyway, welcome back. For these vlog situations, you get to see like first thing in the morning face, you get to see like bonnet on, like morning, morning style, like just very cash. Um, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I have one sausage patty in there and I'm gonna make an omelet and that'll be, I'm gearing up for the day. We're ending at five today, which is so great. So tomorrow I'll have time to, I won't have to like stay up late tonight. Um, but I think that I'm gonna make a matcha latte on the way there, not on the way there, but for the, for the rehearsal today. And hopefully we can see a little more of a backstage. It's all costumes today for the, for the principals and chorus. We're just sitting in the back. We're not, it's not fully staged for us, which sometimes I'm really, I'm grateful for because I just, it's such, it's, I'm just, I just want to sit, stand up and sit down, stand up and sit down. Also, remarkably today, it's April 4th today and it's snowing. There's actual literal snow on the ground. There's snow on the roofs of the houses outside. And I just, I don't know how to feel. Like sometimes I'm like, why do I live here? Like I live, okay, I, li I love New England. I live here because all my work is here. I love my friends. I, I love the New England vibe. But in <laughs> the spring, when it's supposed to be spring, and we have this weather, I don't understand what's going on. So hopefully uh, the streets are not slippery. I don't think it, they are. Um, but like, it's just, I just, I don't get it. Um, what, what is this? It's, it's April Fool's, but like late. All right, let me make my omelet and I'll, I'll get back to you. Okay, it doesn't look as beautiful as it could have, but it's spinach. It was supposed to be feta, but then I opened the feta and realized the feta was like ancient. <laughs> and I was like, I can't eat this. So I put cheddar instead. I really wish I had feta because feta and spinach would have been a magical combo, but a feta, spinach and cheddar is fine too. And my little sausage, and this will probably take me through until, until I get home. All right, let's, uh, let's have breakfast. Hello, do you like my uh, my look here? It's giving um, Paddington Bear meets somebody, I don't know. Um, so we just got out of the dress rehearsal and I have to say, I have to say that even though I had some reservations about the show, again, this is the opera by Dominic Argento. He's an American composer. And the opera is The Voyage of Edgar Allan Poe. And it's about like kind of like weird vision that Poe is having before his death. And I have to say, I was very skeptical about it going into it, like learning it. I think it was more like the frustration with how hard the music was. 
But now that we know the music, and today we saw for the first time a uh, performance in costume for the principals, not for us, we're just wearing black. I like it. I think it's good. And I really enjoyed performing it. And I thought we did a really spectacular, bang up, kick ass job singing it. And I am thrilled to perform it tomorrow. And then the recording. Cool. I'm good. I'm on board. I have drank the Kool-Aid on these, this Argento opera, which I thought was kind of trash, but actually like kind of fire. So yeah, again, the show, I don't know what's going, the whole thing's a fever dream. It's bizarre. Like what's happening? Like, but it is good. What's not good though is the weather. Look at that out there. It's like cold and it's snowing slash raining. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I've had to break, you know it's bad because I don't like to wear this, but you know it's bad when I break out this hat. This hat is like serious business. That's when it's bad. But I went to TJ Maxx I have some time before my parking expires. Um, I probably should get on the road because of rush hour, but I mean, YouTube thing. So I have some time before my parking expires. So I'm going to show you my haul from TJ Maxx. I'm wearing a sweater, which I'll show you later, um, that I got for, like, I bought some concert clothes and I got some cute things. So I got, I also got this philosophy little t-shirt thingy, but it's got long sleeves, which are so cute. And it's got little ruffles on the sleeves. Look at that. And it was only Philosophy, which is, isn't that like a nice brand? Anyway, I got this for, oh, it is a nice brand because the suggested manufacturer's retail price is a insane, ridiculous 58 doll hairs, 58 doll hairs. This is literally a, a t-shirt. I mean, it's they made a nice material, but I got this at TJ Maxx for $17, $16.99. We love that. And... Another nice brand I bought from was uh, Tahari. Love Tahari, by the way. I'm a huge Tahari fan when it comes to like the basic basics, you know. Um, and is there a tag on this one too, like a price tag? No. Anyway, it's like a regular like black top, extra small. And I got it for, I think, $15? Yeah, $15. $14.99. And it's like a nice silky satiny material it's um what's it what's it made of <laughs> it's not cotton it's nylon so it's just it won't like it'll look nice once I get the wrinkles out anyway this would be a nice like basic under top for concerts and while I was at the TJ Maxx I decided that like can we bring bows back please like hair bows and hair so I got this and I thought like, you know, I'm 47 now almost, but like, I'm still like a tiny person. And I still think that like the descriptor, okay, don't, listen, it's not, I'm not like trying to be whatever, but I think still, even at 47, that sometimes I am cute as in like I'm cute I'm small cute okay so I think a bow is an appropriate accessory for a cute little lady right am I not cute I still think I'm cute so I still think that like hello kitty and things like this are okay even though I'm old now so anyway gonna wear this tomorrow back here like a half up to half down, cute, cute, right, cute, please, please, adorable, adorable, anyway, she was, um, $4.99, a steal, an absolute steal, like, nice satiny, like, dress up, though, so, I'm, I'm in my, I'm in my cute, like, living for the cute aesthetic era, I want to lean for, into that until I'm not cute anymore, like, I feel like, when am I not, when can I not be cute anymore? Anyway, I don't want to drive home in this grossness, but we'll see how long it takes. Um, yeah. So tomorrow, I'm so glad, oh my God. 
So the schedule has been crazy. I don't even know if I'm gonna post today. Probably will, but let me tell you. The schedule for this week's production has been insane. So it's been like the evening rehearsals that start at seven, so I have to be here at like six o'clock to get parking, all that stuff. And then they end at 10, and by the time I get home, it's like 10.30, I'm getting home so late, eating late, which is dumb. Don't, I don't recommend it, but I'm doing it because I don't know. And so I've, I've started to like, I got built up this like sleep debt. So this morning when I got up at nine, I was like, damn, but I feel much better now. I think I needed that sleep. I think I'm going to miss my workout today. I just can't do it. I think I'll do it tomorrow, but, um, that's the end of my day officially. And I'm so excited. I go, I have, I didn't get a bag from the TJ Maxx because they charge you 10 cents for a bag in certain towns. And I just, I can't be, I can't be living like that when I have a bag in my car, but I forgot it. So I'm going to put those in there. Yeah, that works. All right. Let's get on the road, get back home, chill out, make some dinner, cuddle the dog, and I'll see you there. A Samsung washer, it's Samsung, right? And you've always wondered what that tune is. It is Di Forella, also known as The Trout by Franz Schubert. It's a song. I've sung that song so many times. It's like one of those ones that you learn in like high school and college. And um, it's cute. It's about a fisherman and a trout and they're like battle, they battle it out, but the trout gets away uh, at the end of the song. It's really good. Anyway, um, I have been trying to get some rest. I am super tired from all of these rehearsals and today is the performance. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. It'll be extra short, extra sweet, extra snippy because I didn't post yesterday. But um, I will take you fully backstage today. We'll see all the things happening and I think you'll enjoy it. So tomorrow is the recording day one and then we have a day two on Sunday of the recording. So hopefully after that, my life will be less chaotic, but right now everything is just so super chaotic. I'm like recording in the basement right now because there's so much noise upstairs. So um, Clover and I are just hanging out. We went on a walk this morning um, and apparently there was an earthquake in Pennsylvania today, which was felt all the way up in New England. I didn't feel anything. I was out playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> so I didn't feel anything, but today I have a doctor's appointment um, before the show today. Um, so I'm gonna be going to that, gonna feed myself, I guess, before that. So I don't have a lot of time to be like farting around. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to close the vlog, say, uh, again, you get what you get, if it's a vlogging every day. <laughs>